the UV lamps end up getting donated to the Rochdale Football Club? Well, I was just having some dinner one day with a, the assistant who works with me as well, um, and we were just talking about, I wonder what happens when the police do these raids on the like the cannabis farms, uh, what happens with the lights and the reflectors and everything. So we give the police station a phone call um, and they said, give us a couple of days and they rang me back the next day. Um, so we went down to the station to have a look at these lights to see if they were what we wanted it and they were. And now we got, we got the three bulbs, three reflectors and three transformers off them. So was it mainly your idea? Yeah, it was, because obviously I've seen them at the, the Premiership grounds, the bigger version of this, what's, what's here, um, but obviously we'd never afford something like that. So we just, like I said, we give them a phone call and now we've got them. But the, the only problem was we had to find something to actually put the lights on. Um, so I was looking, I was tidying out under the, one of the stands and come across these five side posts. Um, so we put them together with a few nuts and bolts and that's the finished article there. So what benefits have the lights brought to the club? Well obviously we're getting to that time now in the season where like this pitch will stop growing so it doesn't, whatever we're left with after the, after the game, that's what we've got for the next game so it's not recovering or anything like that. So these lights will just help areas like the goal mouse and in front of the dugouts just to keep going during the winter to try and keep a bit of stability on the pitch. Yeah. Um, how financially, what savings has it helped for the club? Well, like a, a rig like this, a, like you'd say the real deal, you're looking at twenty, thirty thousand pound. So it's obviously cost us, cost us a lot less than what it would have done if we actually were to go and buy one. Um, we've basically spent on this probably just short of hundred pounds. So it's obviously it has cost us an absolute, cost us quite a lot of money really. It saved us quite a lot of money. Um, so with it being um, cannabis lamps, how, what promotion has this made for the club? Is it good, bad? Or? Well, everything we've had from it is, is positive. Um, obviously both for the police and ourselves, the, the PR for it is good because it looks like we're all working together and as one community. Uh, obviously, as I've seen a lot of people use this cliche the last few days, uh, but it is growing the right type of grass. Um, whereas if the police were just to get rid of the lights, it, it costs them money again to go and get them put in a landfill or recycle them, so it benefits them as well. Yeah. No, yeah, I did see a couple of years ago something similar down at Knott's County. Um, I know they got the lights off the police, but then they got a big engineering company in to actually make these rigs quite big, so it's, it's along the similar sort of lines, uh, but we've gone down the route of, you know, making the rig ourselves and actually rigging it up, so it is quite enjoyed it really something different. So even though it's quite small, um, are you able to grow evenly on the pitch or is it quite hard? Well this one really, we're only, we're only using it like for the goal mouse and just to see if it works and we have got the option from the police to go and get more lights if we need them. Like the officer I was dealing with has sent a notice out to all the, the other police and if they have got any lights that work, if they can just keep them to one side, check if they work and then we can go and get them and hopefully make, make more rigs and possibly even, even a bit bigger. Do you think this sort of thing could help towards improving grassroots facilities like on other pitches, public pitches? Uh, no, I think it, because when you're dealing with something like this, you do, you need to obviously have someone who knows what they're doing with it. Uh, obviously, it's the first time I've used these and it's at the minute I'm on a bit of a trial and error and speaking to other grounds and at other professional clubs as well. So at grassroots, I'd probably not because it's, and they get used so often as well. Um, the pitches, it's just, you wouldn't see any benefit from it. Get a nice tan now in the winter. And <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, there isn't really. I just obviously thank the police again, GMP, um, for donating these lights and obviously going to a good use.